All right, Sid Zweigbaum down on the field post game with Corey Petrick Stevenson, a 20 to 14 winner today over Lycoming on Senior Day. Corey, first we'll talk about the game. 11 tackles for you today, uh, one and a half sacks. What was it like for you? You know, getting mentally ready for for what's probably going to be the last home game for you guys. Uh, I just went out there and and just tried my best. I mean, leave it out on the field. I, I don't know if I'm going to get another opportunity to play or not. Hopefully, we get an ECAC game or a Centennial MAC uh, bowl game, but. I just, I just wanted to leave it all out on the field because I know there may not be another opportunity for me to put the pads on. Uh, you guys win kind of a, a wacky second half game. You start with a fumble recovery, can't punch it in. Uh, it seems like every time you guys were about to blow it open, uh, you know something, you know whether in your control or out of your control, it happened. What was kind of the emotional roller coaster on the sideline in the second half? Um, I mean, good things happen, bad things happen. So I mean, you just have to uh, like accommodate for what happens and just go with what's going on in the game and bad things are going to happen and you have to respond back and defense has to come out and make a play and we knew that our offense were going to get it done later in the game and that's what they did. What did you see on the on the big controversial play where Pleat hit the quarterback and it was either fumble, incomplete or, or a backward pass? What did you see from your vantage point? Um, so what I saw was that the ball went backwards so I originally thought that it would be a fumble or it would be a backward lateral pass but I mean, the refs, they're not perfect. I mean, you can't get every call right. So that's what I saw. Um, how, how would you summarize your, your four-plus years here at Stevenson? Obviously, you know, you, you missed a year with an injury and, and, you know, coming back from all that and, and just kind of from where it started where you guys were, were not expected to win games and, and now at the end of your career you guys are expected to win every Saturday. Um, it, it's been fun, and I, I want to thank the older guys that were here first. I mean – they they took me right underneath and they showed me what the Stevenson football was all about and how it is to be a family and how it's to or how it is to play for one another and I think that's what I tried to show these other guys here and that's what I hope that they continue to do because if you can play for one another and you play like a family you're going to be a very successful football team. How happy is your whole group going to be if you guys uh, get to play again next week? Oh, they'll be very happy. I mean, I was out there on the last drive and. I think I had at least four guys come up to me and say, this is for you, this is for you, we're going to do it for you. So, I mean, I love them guys, man, and, and they just they just wanted to do their best so that we can get another game. All right, Corey, well, thanks a lot so much uh, for all the four, all, all the fun we've had watching you, and hopefully we'll see you one more game next week. Thank you, I appreciate it. All right, that was Mustang linebacker Corey Petrick. Uh, hoping to get another game next week. Stevenson wins 20-14 to today over Lycoming.